Hey everyone, I'm Whitney. Welcome back to my channel. And it's that time of the month again where we play tabletop TBR to decide what my TBR is going to be for the month. So before we get into it, I kind of wanted to go over a few things with you guys. This game system for picking my TBR is relatively new and with something new comes change. I've sort of been talking change a little bit with every video I've done for this game, but I think I've finally kind of nailed down how I want it to go. The basic concept that I mentioned the first time we ever played this is exactly the same. It's a regular board game. You roll the dice, you move your piece, you land on a space and you use whatever color space you landed on to pick the prompt on the prompt card that you draw. However, there are also special spaces like monster spaces and ally spaces, which I've definitely talked about in the past. I haven't landed on one yet, but those do things a little bit differently. If you land on an ally space, you draw a card and you get some sort of positive prompt or positive thing that you could keep for, an, for a different role or something like that. The monster cards are essentially something you have to beat. To beat a monster space, you have to roll above a 10. So if you roll a 10 or below, you lose and you have to draw the prompt for the monster space, which is typically some sort of, not necessarily negative, but less fun thing. So you may just move back some spaces in the game. So like I said, not necessarily bad, but not the best case scenario. Another thing I had been talking about is wanting something for natural ones and natural 20s and I have decided what I'm going to do for those. So if I roll a natural one, I'm going to have a stack of cards or a little TBR jar or just the app that I use to keep track of my TBR or something where I'm going to have to either pick a random number or pick a card or something of that nature. And whatever comes up is the book that I have to read. In other words, I have absolutely no choice in the matter at all. And if I roll a natural 20, I get to pick whichever prompt I want on the card that I draw. The first big change is something that I really hadn't been implementing anyway, is that I'm gonna drop the advantages and disadvantages from race and class. First of all, it's complicated for me to remember, so I can only imagine it's complicated for you guys to remember. So I think we're just not gonna do it. We're just gonna have a base level. It's easier to remember. I've also put new prompts in my deck and I'm always looking for new prompt ideas. So if you guys have an idea for a prompt that you think I should put in there, please leave them down below and I will definitely do that. Another little tidbit of information that I didn't really give you guys ever is that the different spaces actually correlate to a different thing you might find in a dungeon. Um, I kind of did that as a little fun thing for myself, but I'm figuring out that maybe you guys would like to know it as well so you can kind of maybe piece together your own story. I don't remember what all the colors correlate to because I don't have the paper right in front of me, but I'll put up a little key for you guys. So there's like secret passageway, riddle, ambush, surprise attack, rest, um, a treasure chest or loot. And these little things that you guys didn't know about are sort of where I got the idea for the monster spaces and the ally spaces. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the part of this video that I'm sure most of you are actually here for, but I felt like you guys needed to know the changes before, you know, we could really get into this um, and also for future months of this. So I've got all the necessary things laid out, the board, the prompt cards, the, the consequence cards. Uh, I've also got my little guy. Hello. We have a cat guest. And I have my d20. So this time we're going to be doing five rolls because I haven't put up any Twitter polls for anybody to help me pick books. So for now we're just going to hope five is good. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and roll now. Um, I hope that the explanation or the re-explanation of the basic rules uh, at the beginning of this video were uh, good enough. If you guys still have questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or message me on Twitter. Um, but I guess let's go ahead and do our first roll. That is a nine. So that is a light orange space. For this one, it is going to be read a book with a one word title. So for roll number one, I landed on an orange space and orange correlates to a secret passageway. And the prompt that went along with that was to read a book with a one word title. For that prompt, I ended up going with Grave Maidens. This is one that I bought because uh, the cover is beautiful and I'd seen it floating around a little bit on Twitter. Um, I can't remember exactly what it's about now. 
but it's just been calling to me a little bit to read it and the last time that happened um I found a new favorite so I'm just gonna roll with it just in case you guys want just even a little bit of a taste of what it's about even though that's not what this video is for um it is three chosen maidens two lovely sisters one dark tradition and if you guys know anything about me you know that the last bit is probably what sold me on this book originally second roll is an 11. That is a green. And for green, we have a read a book about murder. For the second roll, we landed on green, which is an ambush or a plot twist. And the prompt for that is very fitting, and that is read a book about murder. For this prompt, I have chosen Broken Monsters. This one has been on my TBR for a very long time and as long as it's been on my TBR um, I'm still super interested in it. Typically something stays on my TBR too long and I t t tend to lose interest. This one is about a I think she's a detective or a cop or something I'm not entirely sure I don't remember but in the beginning there is a body discovered that has the bottom half of a deer or something attached to it like it's sewn to the person so I'm just, I'm, I'm here for that. I hear that this is really creepy. And you know, the first time I actually heard about this book, I was like, that reminds me of the music video for Sugar We're Going Down by Fall Out Boy. And I've just sort of been attached to it ever since. Roll number three is a 20. So I told you guys about what was gonna happen if I roll a natural 20. For once, we have landed on a special space. We've landed on an ally space. So for the ally prompt is a free space. You pick any book and you don't need a prompt card. But since I rolled a natural 20, I'm going to go ahead and pick a prompt card and that may help influence uh, what I'm going to pick for this. Options are to read the lowest rated book on your physical TBR, to read a book with a gray cover, to read a book involving music, to read a to read an adult fantasy, to read a new release, to read a book under 300 pages, to read a book with purple on the cover, or to read a book with dragons. So for the third roll, I rolled a natural 20. I also landed on an ally space, which is something I hadn't thought about or even assumed might happen. The ally card that I drew was a free space, which means that I can just pick any book. Um, I went ahead and drew a card because I wasn't sure if I was going to need help narrowing that down. So I just picked a card so we could see what the prompts were. But I actually ended up not using the prompts from the card because I remembered that I wanted to read The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. So I figured if I have the opportunity to put it on this TBR, I might as well do it. So we're going to do roll number four. And that is a 19. So we're going to move... One, oh, I'm gonna draw them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Look, a monster space. We have finally hit both of the special spaces, the ally space and now the monster space. So, to defeat a monster and not have to draw their card, I have to roll above a 10. If I roll a 10 or below, I'm gonna lose which means I have to draw the monster's card. Here we go. And I rolled a 16. So I don't have to draw the monster card this round. So the fourth roll, I landed on a monster space. I cannot believe that after rounds of not landing on either, we landed on both in the same game. And that I actually managed to win. I'm actually cursed with really bad rolls when I'm actually playing D&D. Like I'm that person who will roll and roll a natural one multiple times per game. Even though I won against the monster, I wanted to go ahead and pick myself out a manga. So like this isn't one that, oh, you need to read. So if I just decide not to do it, I, it doesn't matter. But I decided to pick something anyway, and that is Beyond the Clouds because I really want to read this one and I won against the monster. It's my game, it's my rules. So uh, we're gonna do that, okay? Cool. For the fifth roll, uh, 18, man, I'm rolling high today. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
that is a dark orange space or a red space. They were red originally and when they printed out they just looked dark orange. So, of course. So for this prompt we're gonna have to read a book over 500 pages. So our fifth roll we landed on a red slash dark orange space which is a booby trap. And the prompt for this was to read a book over 500 pages. For that I picked The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakrabarty because I want to read this like yesterday. <laughs> the Devabad trilogy is one of my absolute favorite series and if you haven't had the chance to read them I would highly recommend it if you are a fantasy reader. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and do a sixth roll even though I had originally planned on five rolls because uh, we beat the monster, which means that I only have four books that I'm gonna be picking for this. And I think I'd like to do more than that. Typically I pick about six because I include the Twitter poll ones. So we're gonna go ahead and do one more. So the last roll is a 19. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That is a dark blue space. And for the dark blue space, it is to read a book with a weapon on the cover. So originally I wasn't gonna do roll number six, but I decided to go ahead and do it anyway because that's typically the numbers of books on my TBR. And um, I feel like the way things played out it was a little weird. So for the sixth roll, we landed on a dark blue space, which is a treasure chest, which is a fitting conclusion to our dungeon adventure this time around. And the prompt for that was to read a book with a weapon on the cover. Uh, I'm so glad I got this prompt. I'm honestly really glad I got this prompt because there's a book that I wanted to put on my TBR for this month and I really, really didn't want to have to just tack it on to the end. And that is I Come With Knives by S.A. Hunt. I read the first book in this series and I just like fell in love with it. It's about a witch hunter named Robin who has this vlog series on I don't know if I don't remember if it's YouTube or if it's a YouTube S platform um I feel like it's just YouTube and she has this following and they all think that these witch hunts are just like a manufactured thing like they're fake but they're actually real and she's hunting these witches and seeking revenge uh for what happened to her mother and I I just can't wait I cannot wait to get to this one so um I know this bat thing uh, with spikes and stuff is an unconventional weapon. It's not with axe or a sword or a dagger or something, but um, that can fuck some shit up. So that is my TBR for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle trying to figure out some mechanics. If there's any of these that you guys are excited to read or to see my thoughts on when I read them, please let me know down below in the comments and I will talk to you guys next time.